Most people in America are familiar with a marketing campaign that has ridiculously and for most of the part failed. The part of it that has succeeded is allowing people to find one another. The part of it that has failed has allowed other people to not find an affinity with the concept of love. The campaign, of course, in marketing that I've been talking about for the last, gosh, I don't know how long in terms it's been around, is the GLBTQ, and I apologize, I always say I don't know what a Q is, campaign. The problem I have with it is that it's discriminatory. I feel that H should be somewhere in that list, because H is a little bit more definable than Q, but that's okay by me. Also, A for asexual might something be something that has also been discriminated, but now I'm just being silly. I don't understand those people at all. I don't see how you don't want to have sex. I think that's amoral. I think it's also anti-physical body health, and that's just what I'm going to say about that alone. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. You people are creating this problem for people like anyone. You see, you're practicing sort of a reverse form of discrimination. You're saying you're being discriminated against by these groups of people, but at the same time, you're sort of reverse discriminating against them. Now, I'm just throwing this out for a little bit of folly and a little bit of parody because I know the abuses to you. I get the abuses to you. I have experienced the abuses around you. But what I can say to you is if you don't want people to call you a shithead faggot, don't fucking act like one. No offense, but life balance is important. And life balance is really important. But also what's important is the privacy of sexuality. If you want to walk down the street holding your hand of your girlfriend, I have no fucking problem with that. The reason I have no problem with that is because I've read books about all different cultures around the world, and we know that. We know that the Hong Kong girls on campus hold each other's hands. It doesn't necessarily mean they're gay. And openly, that's what we have to get to today, that America is back assward about human touch. We are all right on the money when it comes to inappropriate touch, but we're so off the money when it comes to appropriate, loving, kind friendship and love.